Come check out this spot guys, this is absolutely magic. Go yeah. There are little fishies in here. Yeah. It's filming. Yeah. What do you think, Mom? What do you think? What do you think? Is it cold? Yeah. Oh. Alright, while the family has a little bit of fun, I'm going to make some episodes for you guys. Well, we have found camp for at least the next few nights, but we don't know how long yet. Look at this beautiful bay we've found. And that's the Torres Strait Islands out there. That island right there, I'm pretty sure is Possession Island. So we're, we're so close. Looks like Mel's gonna set up camp for us. So as you've probably seen, we can't afford a big ass caravan. And I still wanted to bring the toys. I still want the tinny and the quad bike and all the gear. So running the standard trailer and Opie and I are sleeping in little mosquito tents on the ground. Inji back, let's check for Crocs mate. And the girls are up there in the, the Bush Company rooftop tent, sleeping in comfort and style. Look at this, look at the current moving through here. It's good swimming. Yeah, we can come down for a splash. Just watch the Crocs, let's just, let's just suck it out. Oh, there's gotta be mud crabs in here. What do you reckon darling? No. I reckon we're gonna be having oysters. All right, let's go set up camp. Set up camp and go for an explore. Find some dinner. We've been chilling out here for the afternoon or for the midday. It's so bloody hot up here at the moment. So for all of you that don't know, we're in Cape York, at the very tip of Cape York. Um, the northernmost point of the Australian continent. I'm gonna say that a lot this season. And we are up here, this is good country. We're up here just exploring and um, learning about the country, learning about the, the people here, the traditional owners, the Gudang people, their culture, things like that. And we just got to this amazing campsite and it's so bloody hot because it's the build up, build up to the wet season, uh, the monsoon season for all those international viewers. And um, hasn't quite started raining yet, which means it's just really steamy and hot. So have fun in the mornings, chill out throughout the day, then get back into it in the afternoon. And we just got to the time of day where the rods are coming out, the spears are coming out, and we're gonna go for a hunt. Really 
Breakfast, and there was a seven foot shark coming in after him. That was first cast out there into that fast water. Nice cod, mate. Woo, cod for brekkie. Ah, oh, good morning, guys. Good morning. It's been a slow start. Midges were horrible. Setting the family up up there, trying to get a fire going. And then now we're out here in the fast water. There's a couple of locals out here in a boat. Obviously looking for turtle or something. That was going straight out. Straight out there, first cast. Big shark right behind him. Get some firewood, but there seems to be stuff all around this area. And we'll cook that, cook that uh Cut up on the coals, which would be really nice. Just a bit of salt and pepper, keep it simple. And we've got heaps of mangoes in the fridge. It's starting to heat up, and I want to get that tinny off the roof before it gets too hot. So we'll have a quick cook up, move the car forward so I can get the tinny off the back of the trailer there. Hopefully, get the tinny in the water and hit these islands. Daddy cooking fish now. Look at him go. Oh, 
show. Wow. <laughs> Daddy got coconut. You gonna come have a drink, Eddie? Oh, I okay. can't come over here closer. Before you drank it all. <laughs> See how they got three holes there, right? It's brought to you guys by treads for this exact reason. They're just they're so handy getting yourself out of a pickle like this without having to get the winch out. is where Nath has been sleeping in this little dome here and Opie's been up on the trailer for the crocs and Esme and I have been up in the rooftop tent and poor Nath has had Inji in the tent with him panting all night needing to go to the toilet several times a night <laughs> Nath has a popped mattress from Esme dancing on it nothing. It's got a ripped sheet. <laughs> you might as well be sleeping on the ground. So while we're at that, let's uh, let's go through and see what kind of... It's two to three months, mind you. This isn't like a two-week trip. I've been on that mattress for six weeks now, I Yeah. In that dome for six weeks. Yeah. Like... Funnily enough, the midgy mesh isn't midgy mesh. The midgies can just go straight through. Yeah. That's not been midgy proof at all. The rooftop tent is definitely doing better. Uh, when Esme and I were sleeping in one of these as well at our last location, I was getting the midgies. And since being up here for the last few nights, we're not getting anything up there. So that's B 
been a bonus. And then I was going to save the other cartilage from from us being on the trip. Let's let's see what else. Being the pop mattress, the quad lock. We should say the offenders, right? So Esme, <laughs> we think where Nate puts his phone to film and do whatever else. Maps, music. I've ripped it out of its socket and now it won't go in. I've got one of the mats, these which have been amazing at this location. Um, and now has a, some kind of, it kind of looks like a burn in them. This is the last so, bit of water. The last, very last. The last of our drinking water we have. What have we got? Three and a half litres of drinking water left between four of us. <laughs> um, which we'll get to that too. All the excess bottles of water everywhere. So you've interrupted my segment, oh, but okay, <laughs> we'll go to the water. So that's definitely been a bit of a challenge with These have been a crop me. area, so I can hear the crop. <laughs> and the kids, yes, it has been. So the trailer is 90 litres of water. The car is 70 litres of water and 40 litres of drinking water. We're now down to our last, what did we just say, three litres of drinking. We've emptied the trailer, which is 90 litres, and there's 70 litres in the car, but we don't know how much is left in there because there's not a well, gauge. Last night, and it was probably 15 litres, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon we're getting low because the, the pressure's slowing down. We need to fix that too. I'd love to have a gauge on that, Dar. Yeah, well, all this Shirley gear, you can have a gauge on there. We just yeah. need to mount the We've sender. got to hook it up. I saw that. It said no tanks found. Yeah, so you can, you can put loads of tanks in there. Shirley will do all that. It was all a bit rushed. We just need to put the sender into the tank and then they can connect it to this. Okay. So we can connect both tanks to this, the trailer. Connect the water pump on the trailer to this instead of just this pump, so everything is controlled from here. Okay, that'd be brilliant. We brought about 60 litres. Oh yeah, okay. uh, probably 40 <laughs> litres in five litre plastic bottles from the local shop. And we've gone through that. And we just too. filled up with the tap. That was just for washing up and stuff. We've gone through that too. So. But mm. there's been a few good things. These mats, except for Ingy, these <laughs> Sea Gear, which is that brand there, Sea Gear yeah. mats have been. A game changer, that one and that one, just going through here to keep us out of the dirt. Um, Inji likes to cover it with dirt. We just needed to bring that Makita blower I asked for, hey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing some bags, I was super impressed. That's like a yeah. fully airtight. Really good quality bag, so I had that while we are out diving and stuff in the boy. And everything got soaked, but you just know that what's in there is dry. Expedition boxes, as always. We've got heaps of them here, one in the boat, three or four on the trailer. They were great. For like pantry and that. Well, so far they've been great, as in like, we've still got heaps of time. Yeah. Yeah, that one up there is still full of food, so that's our supplies. You yeah. Yes, yeah, so I was going through all the damage that you've had to. Oh, it's this one. The first night cooking, I burnt the table, the chopping board. I put a hot pan on it. Oh, so that was me. That was Mel. One to Mel. Have I had a mention yet? I don't think you have. Well, I don't know who that burn came from. What burn? On the mat. Oh. Nay, Sonny's. Apparently, it was one of us, not him. Now have two scratches on them. My favourite Sonny's, mind you. That I've well, worn and looked after look, for so long. Then he's scored these Otis's. Can't see anymore. These Otis's he found in the mangroves yesterday. Don't show them that. Someone will <laughs> watch and be like, they're mine. Well, we can send them back to them. <laughs> what else are you breaking? Oh, the freezer. The freezer. <laughs> the freezer door has snapped off. It's smooth yeah. off. So that has been no good. And then I think also one of these bars is broken as well. I'm going to say also the Shervy gear has been 
Amazing, we've stepped up to 300 amp hour of power, 300 amp hour of lithium power this trip. I've normally got a 200 in there, well I used to. And then having the family running, you know, double induction cookers and things like that, we stepped it up to 300, which is, um, we're yet to kill. I think I need more solar on the roof, I've got mm, 260 watts. What are we watts. up to this morning after cooking last night and I can't 20, see it. 22%. Yeah. But 22%, so that's what, 10% is going to be 30. 30 amps, we're at about 65 amps, which is still a fair bit of power. Like a lot of people go away with a 100 amp lithium battery. Yeah. So we'd get yeah. 60% still. So 22% of 300 is still mm. still a fair bit, considering we cooked a bit last night. We did, yeah. But I thought you said without us, the lowest you've ever been is 50%. Yeah, we're definitely using more power <laughs> with my wife here on board. That's all the food that I'm making you. <laughs> Smoothies, crayfish noodles, pancakes. I thought you were out here surviving off the land, Dale. Hmm. Big thanks to my wifey for doing the cooking. <laughs> Big thanks to Mission Built for putting this together yes, just in time. Gosh. We would have been lost without, we without this setup. And uh, just an F. Why I we need a bigger trailer. Yeah. This is not sufficient. So but I yeah, can't get you. I wanted to show you guys that it's not um, luxurious. You know, you see the footage, I suppose, you see the show and it looks everything's glamorous and nice, but everything is what we filthy. Yeah, this is what we're living in. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Which long, is fine. It's it's a part of it, isn't it? Like it is, hey. Um, oh. there's again no one can deny that camping you don't feel really good like being under the stars cooking outside yeah. you come away enriched and this is camping yeah amazing incredible amazing that spot best spot yet, best spot yet. Mm, that's good. saved you thirty thousand dollars in going to the maldives <laughs> the cape just keeps on giving so i thought i'd show you guys what life on the road is like with my wife. The fridge is all running a bit low, so we're heading into town to go today to get some stock, but Mel likes to change jars for some reason, so she takes the soy sauce out of a perfectly good jar and puts it in a jar that's not meant for soy sauce. And then when we hit the corrugations, we get soy sauce everywhere, and this is constant. So uh, Mel, when you're watching, you'll be cleaning that. <laughs> 